Welcome to the third part of question paper discussion for the subject electronic principles and circuits. The question number uh, A state the ideal characteristics of operational amplifier. So, what are the ideal characteristics? This is the most important question. I have seen this kind of question in several times. Uh, infinite voltage key, then infinite input impedance, uh, zero output impedance, zero offset voltage. Uh, infinite bandwidth, infinite common mode rejection ratio, CMMR, that is actually in infinite, infinite slew rate, TSSR, TSSR, that is also become zero. So these are the important ideal characteristics of operational amplifier. So kindly make a note that this is one of the most important question. I have seen several number of times. 7B, a Smith figure you can observe, see. So a circuit diagram of a Smith figure. Okay, uh, for a Smith figure shown uh, in figure 7b, calculate the threshold voltage and assume that V saturated voltage is equal to 90 percentage of Vc. So the Smith figure output that will be actually the square first, right? Square wave. So there is an actually uh, inverting amplifier as you can observe. Uh, the parameters are given here. The values of resistance we have to observe here. Uh, then uh, look at the VCC plus VCC and minus VCC. Okay, please make a note of all the parameters which is given in the question. Now you need to calculate the threshold voltage levels and the hysteresis. Okay, yeah. So now how to answer this? First of all, what you can do is uh, write down the given data. So according to the question, please uh, mention what are the parameters which is uh, given in the question. VCC they have given. V saturated is equal to 90 percentage of VCC, that will be around 13.5. Immediately, you will get one mark. The given value of resistance you can see 51 uh, kilo ohm and uh, the 20, uh, 20 ohm. Okay. Now, you can see the other parameters. So, look at this. Uh, what are the other parameters they have given? You can see. Uh, VUT and LT, limited. So upper and lower limited. Okay. Upper threshold and lower threshold. Use the formula. So for upper threshold and lower threshold. Here plus V sat into R2 by R1 plus R2. This is just like a voltage division formula. So lower threshold also you can apply. So if you calculate upper and lower threshold, you will be getting one more mark each. Then uh, hysteresis, that is actually the difference between upper threshold and lower threshold. If you calculate, you will be getting 63.38 millivolt. So these are the things uh, you will be under you will be obtaining uh, from the calculation. Okay, so make a note of this. Now, okay, it is very simple question only. Question number, let's see, hysteresis we compute upper and lower threshold we calculated. Then difference, the difference will be the hysteresis actually. Question number seven, three, draw a practical inverting amplifier and derive the expression for closed loop voltage gain, input resistance and output resistance. Okay, so the shall, uh, somewhat uh, simple derivation. First of all, it is advisable to draw an inverting amplifier. Op amp inverting amplifier you can draw. So look at this. Here we can see the R of feedback resistance. R1 is the input resistance. We are giving the supply. Supply is, giving, uh, supply is provided to inverting terminal. So non-inverting terminal, you can keep blank. Okay, we are not giving any uh, supply. So RL is the load. Okay. So now you can uh, like you can uh, use KVL, you can use KCL, you can uh, make, you can mention the KVL and KCL. Using the KVL and KCL, you can proceed with that. Okay, so you should know the basics of KVL, KCL, then only you can proceed further. Yeah, so like that you can derive VIN minus VD by R1 equal to VD minus V0 divided by R. So uh, now uh, you can use the gain formula. Yes, gain formula you can use. Uh, V0 is equal to A0 L into VD. A0 is the gain. So VB will be zero only, zero minus VA. That will be uh, VA into uh, A zero L. Okay, give the negative symbol also. Or else we can, VA can be written as V naught by AOL. Okay. Similarly, substituting VA and uh, VA from equation number two and equation number one. So earlier we have done, we are, uh, I have shown you one equation now. Just a moment, I will show you once again. Equation number one. Okay, equation number two should be given to equation number one. Equation number one is in the previous slide. Look at this. Equation number one. Make a note of equation number one. It is available in the previous slide. Now, what you can do is uh, substitute equation number two in one. 
Okay, if you substitute accordingly, I request you to work out once, then it will be easy for you for the examination. So you are after substitution, you will be able to get these particular equations. Okay, again, do the further simplification. Okay, so ultimately ACL that is actually minus A naught into AOL R of divided by R1 plus R of plus uh, R1, R1 into AOL. Uh, you will be getting like a, a three marks you will be getting. So each uh, steps, they are providing the marks. So follow accordingly, don't miss even, not even single steps. Moving further, uh, so like this you will be getting, yes. Till here you will be uh, getting like the ACL. Uh, next, draw the equivalent circuit. Okay, so ultimately you will be getting the value R INST that is equal to R1 plus R of RM divided by R of plus RSN. Uh, you will be getting this expression. Okay. Okay, so continuing. Uh, the, so apply certain conditions. Okay, like this, you can apply certain conditions. So, key, uh, like, uh, proceed further. Okay, so you should get like uh, R naught by 1 plus AOL into B. So, if you found out any simple derivation, that also you can follow. So, this is one, uh, like, method which is adopted here. Question number 7C, uh, that is completed. See, draw the practical inverting amplifier, derive the expression for closed loop voltage K. Okay, closed loop voltage K means output voltage by input voltage. How much you will be getting? So, like this, you will be getting. Look at this. V naught by I naught equal to R naught by 1 plus A, A0L uh, into B. Okay. So, this is ultimate expression for uh, like inverting amplifier. Question number 8A. Draw the circuit of three op amp instrumentation amplifier derived the expression for output voltage. Question number 8A. So, we have to draw the circuit diagram. So like this, you have to provide the circuit diagram. Yeah, this is our circuit diagram. Draw the circuit diagram. Uh, better give the brief explanation. Okay. So you have to perform the mathematical analysis like this. You can try to keep keep working. Uh, you perform the mathematical analysis. Okay. So if you refer any other textbooks, you can go ahead. Whichever is comfortable, you can go ahead with that. Okay. Ultimately, you will be getting the output voltage equal to R2 by R1 into 1 plus 2 RF by RG. Okay, into difference in voltage, V1, V2 minus V1. Okay, so question number 8B, explain the working of zero closing detector. Okay, first of all, you have to construct it. The, you have to draw the circuit diagram uh, using uh, op-amp. You have to draw the circuit diagram of Z3D, zero closing detector using op-amp. Look at this. It will detect when it is actually closing to zero. Look at this. So this is a zero closing point now. So look at this. You will be getting the output. Zero closing. Whenever it closes to zero now, it, uh, it will detect it. Non-inverting zero closing detector circuit with the proper explanation you are expected to mention. Uh, this is inverting. One is uh, like a non-inverting, other one is actually inverting zero closing detector. Okay, you can see the waveform. Look at the output. Look at the output. You will directly come to the two types you can explain. Okay, it is not a big deal. So drawing the ZCD for inverting and a non-inverting amplifier. The only terminal will be different, but you can see the how the output is getting changed. That's all. Question number uh, 8C. For a non-inverting amplifier, values of R1 and RF are given. So 1 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm respectively. The various open parameters like uh, open loop gain, uh, then input resistance, output resistance, single uh, single break frequency, supply frequency, calculate the closed loop gain, input resistance, output resistance, feedback, and bandwidth width feedback. Uh, question number uh, 8C. So here what you can do is use the formula, particular formula. Whatever the formula they have given now, please make use of that. So use the formula B is equal to, okay, you will be getting this much of value. A O L, okay, R not already given. Then A, A, A C L is equal to A, A O L divided by 1 plus B A O F, okay, A O L. So you will be getting like the uh, gain is equal to 10.999, okay. Similarly, R uh, infinity is equal to R M into 1 plus, use the standard formula. Definitely you will be getting this particular value, giga ohm, this much of giga ohm. Uh, R O F that is equal to R naught by one plus A O L B will be getting a four point one two into ten to the power uh, minus three. Okay, these are the things you will be getting. Use the formula directly and remember those formula. It is important to remember the formula. R uh, infinity is equal to thirty six point three six. We will be getting so R O F is equal to four point one two mega ohm. Okay, so frequency you are able to get like ninety point nine one kilohertz. 
Okay, these are the important thing uh, from question number uh, seven and eight. So there are numericals, try to work out. So one more suggestion, if you did not find the convenient circuit which is given in the key, no worries. Whatever you learn now, you can uh, proceed with that. You might have practiced uh, based uh, different different type of circuit, but here uh, like uh, the standard one which is taken from a standard textbook. Okay, if you practiced by your own manner, like a simple circuit rather than this, you go ahead with that, there is no restriction. So let me know if you have any queries. Uh, I'm happy to answer. Thanks for watching this video. Happy learning.